if you don't already know what my long-term prediction for Bitcoin is, it's the featured video on this channel. So if you just go to the channel, you can look at that featured video. It'll tell you guys how I see the markets playing out throughout the next year and when I think the next bull run will start. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Kevin Svensson here. I'm gonna do my first video of 2019. Just figured that I'd come to you guys with a video today, giving you guys a bit of an update on my thoughts on the market, the recent activity, how I see the market playing out, and uh, just a little bit of talk about the long-term. You know, this channel was started based on long-term predictions, macro analysis, and I'm going to continue to keep it that way, right? I don't care too much about the short-term stuff. Although, you know, I, I will give you guys my analysis from time to time. I will go live from time to time and give you guys my analysis on recent market activity. So recently, Bitcoin was just trading sideways, almost painful to watch. It just goes sideways for so long. And finally, we got a move to the upside here. Um, you know, a quick move. If you hop in, if you hop in to the, uh, we're getting a bit of a dump here. If you hop into the, the chart here and you look at that volume right there and the, how the price just snapped up so quickly, it just shows you that the whales are capable of pretty much doing whatever they want, right? The whales can make this market do whatever they want. And as I'm making this video, I'm watching the price drop. This is interesting. Hold on, let me just move in on this. Guys, I literally just started recording here. It is 4.15 a.m. And I normally don't do my videos this early. So this is interesting. We'll see what happens here. Um, that was interesting. So I literally just started recording and the price is dropping. So that kind of just goes to show what my point here is. The whales, right? The price was doing nothing here. The price was doing nothing. There was no activity. All of a sudden, within a second there, bam, the price just flies to the upside. Uh, you know, volume just all of a sudden kicks in out of nowhere. And now the same thing is happening on the other side right now, I'm literally, as I'm, as I'm recording this video, the whales can make this thing do whatever they want, guys, right? Big players in this market, in the short term, can make the price do whatever they want. They can snap it up, they can flash a huge sell order, snap it down, right? But, you know, when it comes to the long-term stuff, in order to produce long-term moves, you need the, the involvement of the general population, right? The reason why it's so easy right now for the market makers to do these sorts of things is because the, you know there's not all that much involvement from the general population right now. The market isn't really being driven in a certain direction all that much. You know, overall, the trend is obviously still bearish. We haven't created, let me just go to Coinbase here so it's a little bit cleaner of a chart. We haven't created a higher high uh, you know, in over a year. All these guys, all these highs are lower highs, even when you come into here, lower highs across the board, guys. So we have absolutely not exited the bear trend just yet. Uh, we've, we're seeing lower highs. And right now we're kind of confirming that next lower high as I'm recording this video. We'll see, we'll see what actually happens here. You know, short term, very hard to predict, but it looks like we're getting some rejection here. So it looks like we are gonna, you know, get another lower high here. My alerts are all going off. So, um, you know, most likely, you know, based on the volume here, most likely we're going to sell off. Sorry, my mind is a little bit jumbled right now because I'm watching the market play out here. But, you know, most likely this decrease in volume, you know, interest is still very low. We have a really no increase in volume. We had, a, you know, a little bit of a pump here. But you're looking, guys, this move right here and this move right here, similar size, similar, similar price spread. You know, and the, the volume was half the size on this move, right? So this is clearly a bit of manipulation going on here. Um, personally, the way that I see things playing out right now, I, I don't think that we're going to see another bull run until people have really just given up. Um, until, you know, I think what the market makers really want to do here is, you know, guys, as long as there's still volatility, right, as long as the price is still swinging around, the interest is going to stay up, right? Because the price, it's, it's very exciting. The price is flying up. The price is flying down. People can make money in either direction. So the general population is going to be excited, whether it's going up or down violently. So what I think the market makers want to do here, um, you know, throughout the next year, doesn't not, not, I'm not saying right now, but they want the price, most likely the market makers are going to stabilize the price so that it becomes less interesting 
and the average person forgets about this thing, right? They forget about Bitcoin. It's not interesting anymore. It's dead, right? The price is just sitting there and it's not doing anything interesting. It's not flying up. It's not flying down. You know, just destroy all the interest in Bitcoin, get people to leave, like flush people out, you know, make them really bored. And then once people are really bored and once people leave, I think that's when the, the smart money is going to really, really step in and start accumulating. A lot of OTC transactions will take place. They already are taking place. And I think it's going to take some time. People are going to get really bored, disinterested. And once they're bored and disinterested and they leave, I think that's when the market makers are going to slowly get that progression, that slow progression of that price push um, going to, you know, most likely what I think to be spring of 2020 a slow progression to the upside. And once the prices starts sneaking back up past some of that resistance and starts breaking, and then the and then the media gets paid off to start marketing Bitcoin basically for the big holders, and it starts hitting the news cycles again, all those people that got bored and disinterested will go, wait a minute, oh my God, I'm missing out on this. And then they will be the first wave of people to start pushing it up. And then it's just going to be rolling again, right? We're going to see most likely another bubble of some kind and things will just start rolling again. But I think before anything like that can take place, we got to get really boring, guys. We got to get really boring here um, in order for that type of thing to really take place. Um, so, you know, personally, I don't think this head and shoulders is going to play, this inverse head and shoulders is going to play out. I think it's quite invalid at this point for Bitcoin. Other altcoins have seen the inverse head and shoulders play out like uh, Litecoin actually has broken out of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, but I don't think Bitcoin will. And I think once Bitcoin starts selling off here, if it sells off here, you know, all the altcoins are going to see some major drops. Ethereum will probably see a major drop based on what's happened with that recently. Um, also, the Ethereum upgrade potential hard fork coming soon. Right. Uh, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news. Guys, I think I think. Most likely the market will see lower prices, if not retest 3,100. I am not convinced by this bottom. I'm not convinced by this low volume area being the bottom. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a huge amount down here to be the bottom, but I would expect at least a little more. And every altcoin has like nothing at the bottom. So I would expect a little bit more. You know, I'm not convinced by this bottom, guys. And I'm not convinced that the bear market's anywhere near over right now. Um, you know, if we get a break below the support or above this resistance, I will go live. I might go live in between if anything interesting happens. But right now, it's it's just more sideways trading. Yes, we saw a, a little a little bit of a pump here uh, yesterday today, um, but you know it's you know it's not super significant just yet. We are we're still you know sitting on lower highs here, right? We're seeing a bit of rejection now. Most likely, we will probably see a pullback. But we'll see. Anything's possible. Again, the whales can get this thing to do whatever they want right now, right? They can snap it down, snap it up, snap it down. We'll see what happens here. Um, you know, could could the price continue to push up? Yeah, sure. But I don't think it will. A lot of big analysts out there think the price is going to go to 5K. I don't think so, guys. I think too many people are anticipating it. And when a market is anticipating a very specific outcome, when there's a very specific thing being anticipated, when there's a very specific outcome being anticipated in a market, it usually doesn't happen, at least not to the extent that people expect it to. Um, so we'll see. You know, I personally think we are going to see lower prices in this market um, or at least retest that 3100 area just based on the lack of volume here, lack of interest. And I think you know, we might see a little bit more volatility going into the next month or two, but I think ultimately what the market makers need to do or want to do is get this thing to look really boring and get people disinterested. And, um, and then we can start rolling again, right? But I think that's it for today's video. Just want to, you know, do an update here. You know, we're seven days into the new year now. Figured that I'd make a video for you guys today, give you guys a bit of an update on what I thought about the markets here. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, if you thought it was interesting, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I do go live. Um, and also, I do have a Patreon if you guys are interested in getting some insight onto how I am approaching this market and getting some real detail uh, for that, for my approach here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you all very soon.